Hello everyone. In this session, we are going to learn about lookup range activity. So lookup range activity is a kind of such activity that we are going to do in Excel. Lookup range activity search a certain value in a specified range and return as a string variable. Let me start with the scenario. If I want to search some value in the specified sheet, let assume we are having marks one and sheet two here. Let assume if I want to search a specific value like Amir from the you know entire sheet or from specific range, how can I go ahead and search it based on the value that you are going to provide? Let assume I am going to provide Amir from the she uh, from the sheet one that is mark sheet, and then I am going to search the value from the specific range. From let assume I am going to from A1 to G11. If I am going to search it out, how can I go ahead and get the output of this specific cell where I have given the value? So if you see, I am going to let assume I am going to search it for the name of Amir, where I can find it in the cell of A2. A2 will come as a return as a string variable. But whereas lookup range in the Excel is different, which we are having in the lookup range in UI part. Now let me start the activity. I have already drag and drop the Excel application scope. Let me browse the file. I'm going to select student marks. Now what I'm going to do, I'm going to the activities. I'm going to search for lookup range. You can see over here under Excel, you are having processing. Under processing, you will have lookup range. You can see search a given value in a range included in UA path Excel activities. What does this mean? This uh, this lookup range activity you can include only in the Excel application scope. And also you are having some of lookup data table also, which is a different. We can check it out in the next sessions. Okay. First of all, let me drag and drop lookup range. Now let me go to the properties. If you see the common property we are having as display name, okay, and the range, the range of the value where you have to search it out. Let us assume I want to search it in the A1 to A12. That I'm going to give it in the. If you see in my Excel, that what I'm having in the A1 to. This is the range A11 that I'm going to give it. This will search only in these values. Okay, now. I'm going to give the A1 to A12, and the sheet name. I have to give the sheet name which I have going to be searching out. I am going to give it as Mars. That is the first cell. And if you want to search which value that you have to search, let assume I want to search with the name Amir. Okay, and the value, the result, where the value, what is the output, where will store in the result that is in the output. I'm going to create a variable. By setting Control K, set variable, and I'm going to say output output of what lookup range output lookup range. Okay, let me click on Enter. Now, if you see the variables, it has been created output look uh, lookup range. If you see the string, the variable type is string. Okay, this is another value which I have been already stored. Okay, just ignore that one. And then this is the variable type is string only. Okay. Now once the value has been searched in the given range from specified cell to the specified cell, if I got the output, where I can go ahead and display the value? Let me go to my activities once again. I am going to display in the message box where exactly it is having the output. Okay. Now let me go to activities and then I am going to message box. Let's drag and drop this message box. Now, where I found the value, I will give it like we found a cell. Which cell that what are the values that we are having plus concatenating output of where lookup range. Let me go ahead. Let me save the bot. Now let me run the bot. Now if you see, we found a cell two. Where exactly this value? If you see over here. We are given at the cell to the Amir value has given at A2. That's the reason we got the value at. We found the value at cell A2. Okay. Now I will explain you one more thing. 
let's assume now I want to search the entire sheet. I don't want to specify this range from A to 2, some kind of A11 or G11, some kind of values I don't want to specify. How can I go ahead and search in the entire sheet? Now simply we're going to, we're just going to leave it as is and then we're going to run the bot. Now if you see again we found at cell A2 itself. Now let me go ahead, let me give one more scenario. Now what I'm going to do, I'm going to change the value by 99. Okay, let me go ahead, let me run the bot. Now if you see we found at cell C4. Now if you see over here that we are having a lot of 99 values. But here you can see only at the first one is the first value is 99 only at the C4. That's the reason it has been given uh, the cell at 99 at C4. If you want to go ahead and do that, we can go ahead and loop it. Okay. Let me repeat you again. Lookup range activity works as a search a certain value in a specified range and returns as a variable. I hope now you understand how to use lookup range activity. Thank you for watching your past tutorials. If you have any queries related to this concept, please post them in the comment section. I will see you in the next session. Till then, bye-bye. Have a nice day.